shit, you clicked on a video about shadow work. You done fucked up now, because you know I'm going to make you work on your shit, right? That's, you understand that's what's happening here? You could have clicked on little puppy video, little doggies just playing with each other, but you didn't. You clicked on the shadow work video. What is shadow work? What are you talking about? Well, what is shadow? Shadow, I would just say it's anything that's keeping you from being the most epic, fulfilled, happy, successful version of yourself, right? That's it. Anything that's holding you back, that's shadow. Spiritual people came along and went, it's shadow work. You're working on your shadow. It makes it sound more fancy. Honestly, it's really just personal development. It's basically like working on your stuff, which I've been doing for a long time. So apparently, I'm using the fancy word now. More examples. Any addictions that we have, habits we have like judging other people, any stories that we create about like how we're victims or the world has done something to us or it's someone else's problem or someone else's fault, blaming others, anything that's messing you up, that's stopping you from fully expressing yourself, taking chances, it's all shadow. One example of my biggest shadow I'm gonna talk about. This is where Sasha gets a little vulnerable. Are you ready for it? Maybe I'll get some tissues ready. Should I get some tissues? Biggest one I had. It was, uh, it, it was my anger at women, anger and frustration at women. For such a long time in my life, I didn't get it. Women didn't like me, I couldn't get dates. All I wanted was a girlfriend, I was a sweet guy. And women would look at me and run in fear, just run in fear. They're just like, what the fuck's wrong with this? And they'd run away. And I thought it was them. I thought it was their fault. I was out there going, oh yeah, these chicks are crazy. They're going for all these asshole guys. What's wrong with these chicks? I'm such a nice guy. Why don't all these women want to date me? Something is wrong with all these women out there. I actually believe that. That's literally the story I had going. I swear to God, I was suffering brutally from age 15 when sex drive kicked in, pretty much all the way up to 27 when I actually started doing the work. And guess what? It was always me. I was the problem. You know, my anger at women stemmed from my relationship with my mother. My mother kicked the shit out of me and tore me down and told me I was no good, right? So of course I was brutally fucking damaged and all these women I looked at, I, of course I'm gonna blame them because I was pissed at the feminine, right? I was pissed and I'd meet women and they'd sense my anger and my frustration and that little part of me that's like, please love me. And they'd be like, ah, and they'd run away from me, of course because I hadn't done the work. I couldn't have done the work because I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. I was completely unconscious about all this trauma and this massive shadow I had with, with the divine feminine, with women. So when you get it and you see it and you go, oh fuck, okay, this is my shit. It's not out, the problem's not out there. The problem is always in here. And this is the first pr This is the first thing you can start doing. Step one, just step one. I talk about this in my comedy therapy course a lot. Everyone's fucked, it's not just you, don't take it personally. Make peace with it, you're fucked. It's okay, everyone's fucked, okay? That's number one. <laughs> and then the next thing, just bring awareness. Just bring awareness. So next time like you're in a situation and you feel anger or resentment or you, you, you get triggered or whatever, but you know you're about to do something that, you know, it's coming from that emotion, negative emotion. Uh, just fucking stop and, and just see it for what it is and go, okay, if it's not coming from a place of pure love and giving and oneness, if it's not coming from that place, Where's it coming from? When you're really healthy and healed and you get rid of the shadows, your natural state is just bam, happiness, okay? So if you're not in that place, if you don't just wake up and go, fuck, I feel great, life is amazing, I can't wait to live this day. If you're not experiencing that on a regular basis, you've got shadows to deal with, okay? That, that can't be more honest than that because that's your default state. You're supposed to be happy. And even that program of like, oh no, you're not supposed to be happy. You just gotta fucking, you gotta work hard for 40 years and pay tax and save up your money and go into debt and all this kind of shit. But then when you're 65, then you'll be happy, right? Come on guys, it's it's a nasty program. And, and, and it leads, believing in that allows people to settle for depression, unhappiness, shitty jobs, shitty relationships, all of it. But one day it's gonna be okay. No, one day is the day you decide to take control of your life. That's one day. One day it's gonna be okay is today if you choose to take responsibility and actually start doing the work and start doing the cleaning. Doing the cleaning, get this garbage out of your head. If what you're about to do or say isn't gonna make someone feel good, right, or help someone in some way, if it's not coming from a place of love, where is it coming from? That's the question. That's the million dollar question. And if you start looking at that, every time something comes up, you'll go, oh, I was just about to put this person down. 
Okay, that's worthiness. That means I'm not feeling worthy in this moment. Okay, let's sit down. Where is that coming from? Bring that awareness to it. I used to, I noticed this recently about myself. Uh, even though like I'm a comedian, and I'm a funny guy, I would sometimes do jokes that would put other people down. And I'd be like, why am I doing that? So that I could be up here when people are down there. And that's part of my journey. It's like, okay, can I can I still be funny and express myself? But from that from a different place where we're we're one and I love you and you love me and I can still be funny, but without having to put someone else down. It's another level. A uh, little exercise you guys can do also, just like be honest with yourself. Like write a little list of all this shit that you're that you, that you get up to, all your little behaviors, and then just go meditate on it. Be like, why is this coming from? Why am I doing this? Bring that awareness into your life. Step one is always bringing that awareness being conscious about what you're doing. That's it. I'm going to do a, a Sunday sermon this coming Sunday. If you're watching this video as it went out, it's going to be there. I'm going to be talking about healing. I'm going to be talking about shadow work. I'm going to be going deeper into these topics. And uh, he's going to be juicy. It's 10 a.m. Vancouver time. Live stream this Sunday. Don't fucking miss that shit. And if you want a reminder of when I'm going live and stuff, join my Telegram group. The link's below. And you'll get all the juicy details about all the good stuff that's going on. All right. I could go way deeper into this topic, but it would be four hours. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions. What would you like me to go into in future videos? Uh, and uh, and does it resonate? Do you care about this? Do you care about this? Or are you just like, no, we want to see you pick your nose and flick it at people on the street and make them uncomfortable. Just tell me. Just tell me. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.